So, what's going on guys, and last video somebody commented this about these spray paint artworks. So I'm going to go quickly go through them and show you them, and then I'm going to do one on camera. Okay, this is one of my more recent ones. You can see I've got my signature and dates. This was first artwork I ever did in 2023. So you've got the Eminem logo up here on the moon, which is a reference to his Without Me music video. Um, you've got a green ground. With I tried to make the shape of America on the ground, but I think I kind of failed. You've got a character here putting out stuff, kind of like um, Homelander. And then you've got the red going in a crucifix type shape. Then you've got the Nirvana logo in a green. And I did all of that um, by myself using spray paints and stencils. This one is my personal favorite. You can see it's a nice small moon um, and there's a character in the pool of red. There's a few little bones and stuff. That's my signature. And the date, this was 2022. You've got my nice blue and red moon with nice black. Yeah. Okay. This one is oh, the first one I ever did. And it's massive. It's like nearly bigger than me. I feel like I should be holding this like a guitar, but I shouldn't really. Okay. It's massive. Basically, I was on YouTube Shorts, which I probably wouldn't, couldn't, probably shouldn't have been, but yeah, it's on YouTube Shorts, I saw this YouTuber. I forgot his name, but I'll try and link him in the description if I can find him, but yeah. And he did an artwork, and I was like, hey, that looks easy, I can do that. So, like, 10 year old me, I think. No. 11. 11 ish, 12 ish, year old me went out in the garden and just did this. So you've got the nice background with the stuff. I've got a nice simple moon up here with quite a large background which I used a sponge technique for. Yeah. Now I can go outside and make one for you. Okay, I thought just doing a normal like rectangular artwork would be too easy. So let's do this one. So, I'm thinking, let's grab our moon shape. Maybe like a moon there, would be nice. Let's grab pencil. Always work in pencil because pen shows through. I've got an idea of where that should be. That moon, and then we're going to want like a line for the ground around here and then we can get some stars in there and I think we can go yeah let's try this like that let's go gold and my gold spray paint Try dark blue and the ground. I can use some more blue. Cool. Let's get going with the stencil. Okay, so the easiest way to get a natural looking thing here is to get a big piece of paper and just rip it because natural landscape isn't really that like. So a perfect paper rip makes it quite naturally looking. If you want, you can just do some extra little bits of interest. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so start with the gold from this side. Okay. Let's get the blue on this side. That little merge in the center. 
to wait for that to dry for a quick second. Okay, next you have to grab a piece of paper, scrumple it up. Okay, and unscrumple it. Scrumple it back up. Okay, and once you've got this, this type of thing, you can just Okay, we've got that. Once you can just put it somewhere. And now you just wait for it to fully dry. I'm actually going to add a little bit more glue and then re scrumple it. Just because I don't think there's enough glue over here. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, now I'm going to place that on about there. And then we can move on to the top layer of black. Wait, I have to put the weight on top of that first. Okay, I just found something really heavy. Perfect. Okay. Okay, it's dead. That's annoying. Next one. No, Perfect. I'm using this really light blue to make stars and highlights and stuff. Okay. So, the highlights, just gonna do that. And with this, you just slightly feather it. Yeah, that's how you get nice stars. Well, you really do that there. Just like fade it a bit. Now it's really going to highlight this side. And let's just quickly reveal that. Wow. Okay, that looks really nice. And now all we have to do is the bottom background area. Okay, now I'm gonna place this down. I'm gonna add some pennies so it doesn't flap up. Because spray paint cans, you wouldn't think it, they've actually got quite a lot of force with the wind that comes from them. So you have to um, pin them down using some weight. Okay, so this is going to be the background. Okay. So you can just throw that down. And then, if you want, you can bring back your mother, scrimp her up, and just go a little bit. Feeling really like enthusiastic. You grab a different colour, I'm gonna use light blue. Get a nice little sprinkle over. Okay. Then bring back the little piece of paper and on that. Hope that looks as good as it does IRL on camera. Okay, and then Ready. 
Take off all the coins. And yeah, that's the work on right there. That's the work. And I'll turn my name on it and go back inside when it's dry. Now let's go quickly. Put the charity my signature. Done. So, here's the final artwork. I think it looks quite nice. You've got the darkness with the gold moon, with the blue, with the mix, and that's actually really textured um, with the nice white here. It looks really nice in real life, and I hope it looks nice on camera. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Here are the top three comments from last video. Yeah, remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.